welcome to HOS Technologies. Here we are demonstrating uh, a detection of floods. So in this project we are going to using the different kinds of sen sensors. So one sensor is like water level sensor and water flow sensor and DHT double one so which will provide the humidity and temperature and ultrasonic SR04 sensor. So coming to this water, water level sensor we can know the digital output like water level is high or low and flow sensor will measure the how much of water flow through this flow meter and DHT double one is it will provide the ambient temperature and ambient humidity and SR04 will provide the height of the water surface level so it will be present in centimeters and uh, water water flow in liters and height level uh, height uh, is going to be the zero uh, centimeters and uh, water level is zero or one and humidity temperature in degree centigrade and uh, uh, percentage level and these three inputs uh, four input sensors interface to the Arduino Uno board so with respect to pins off coming to SR04 3 and 4 and uh, flow meter it is second pin and DHT11 seventh pin and uh, level sensor is sixth pin and coming to ESP8266 Wi-Fi module through this we can send the data to the cloud or any uh, mobile phone can access this data so it was interfaced 8 and 9 pins of the Uno board and coming to LCD module, we are using 16 by 2 LCD. It will uh, interface at the A0 to A5. And coming to this board, this purpose, uh, purpose of this board is like we are going to distributing the 5 volts from here. We are providing 5 volts power supply from the adapter directly. And it is distributed to different modules like flow meter and DSC double one and SR04 will get the 5 volts power supply through this board only. Okay. So before switching on this sketch, we need to do some initial steps in phone so for that we need to install a network analyzer app this one and ssh juice client app and then after open uh, we need to change the wi-fi hotspot name that is project 4288 without any capital letter without any space and password should be 129 123456789 and then after done and then uh, switch on the power supply to the kit so you can see the welcome message on the LCD and the blue light blinking on the Wi-Fi module and you can see the connected devices ESP is got connected and now so in order to get the IP address of that module go to network analyzer app and uh, do scan there you will get the IP address of Wi-Fi module that is 192.168.43.160 note on that and uh, then go to juice clients and uh, in that manage connections for first time we need to add that in that we need to change three things ssh should be changed to telnet and the ip address the which we got from that app and port number 8080 and then we'll get this and then open that so you can get the streaming data directly so now that is so one by one so now it's going to be the zero water level is low and when water is full then one okay and zero and now coming to the height so whenever the height is less than 30 centimeters so you will get the alert message on your phone so you can see that alert water level is high and uh, centimeters also you can monitor that and coming to humidity temperature is done and flow just blowing the air so as I blow the air or any water flow is coming throughout the flow sensor you will get the flow rate is all about the project. Thank you.